from leaning not on our own understanding to casting down wicked imaginations. We're here to study to show ourselves approved here a little and there a little. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Stick to the Script. Let's read the Bible now. Grace and peace, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another edition to Stick to the Script Bible Talk Show, where we teach from a biblical perspective, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. Please subscribe to our page, like it, share. This is an Israel of God production coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. We are Christian Israelites who keep the commandments of God and the faith in Jesus Christ. Tonight's topic is be ye hearers of the word and doers of the word. But before we get into it, let us go and introduce the panel. We got Brother Roland from IOG Houston. Grace and peace, everyone. That's right. Praise the Lord, my brother. We got our elder brother, Jedediah. Yes, sir. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. In Jesus' name. We got reading for us tonight, one of our own, Brother Wendell. Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Like I said, the topic today is be ye hearers and doers of the word. Now we will turn it over to our brother from Houston, ILG, Brother Roland. Thank you, brother. Uh, hello, everyone. Tonight, we're going to deal with a lesson called Be Ye Hearers and Doers of the Word. And as the title, as the name of our title is, we're going to stick to the script. So let's get started in this. We want to find out what is it that we need to hear and what is it that we need to do. And then we're going to find out how long do we need to do it. So let's start this off in Deuteronomy 5 and pick it up at verse 1, brother, then after that. Deuteronomy 5 and 1. When you get there, let's read. Yes, sir. And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. He said, Hear, O Israel. So the first thing he wants to do is hear. And then what does he want to hear? The statutes that he give us the statutes, his commandments, and his laws, that we may do them. Not just hear them, but hear them and do them. Let's skip down to verse 27 and continue, brother. Go thou near, and hear all that the Lord our God shall say, and speak thou unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we will hear it and do it. And the Lord heard the voice of your words, when ye spake unto me, and the Lord said unto me, I have heard the voice of your words of this people, which they have spoken unto thee. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that, oh, that there were such an heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. So this Jesus in the Old Testament telling us, he said, first he said, hear, O Israel, right? He wants us to hear this word, hear his law. And then he said, we, our forefathers said, you know what? We will hear and do what he said. He told Moses, you go talk to him and come back and tell us we'll hear and do it. And then the Lord said, make sure they do this. They, but they got to fear me first in order to, and then they'll keep my commandments, right? But then he said, it's going to be well with them if they do with them and their children. So it's something you have to teach, hear, teach, and do. And let's see what Jesus tells us in the New Testament, uh, Mark 12. Let's see if he tells us something different. Because you know the God of Israel said he, he, he changed not. He did the same yesterday, today, and forever. So Mark 12 is picking up at verse 29. Read, brother. And Jesus answered him. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, 
the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second and the second and the second is like namely this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself there is none other commandment greater than these so here the lord telling us to, to hear O israel that's the first thing he told us in deuteronomy hear O israel then he, what did he tell us in deuteronomy hear my statutes my judgments here he telling you about his commandments so the Lord wants you to hear his statutes, his commandments, his judgments, his laws. He want to put that spirit in you that that way you'll have opportunity to get eternal life. Let's keep moving. Let's go to Romans, the second chapter. We want to see who is this word for? Is this word just for Israel to hear? Romans, the second chapter. And let's pick it up at verse 10. Romans 2 and verse 10, brother. When you get there, read. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of person with God. For as many as have sinned without law, for as many as have sinned without the law shall also perish without the law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. So if we go back up to 10, it says glory, honor, and peace to every man. They don't, he didn't make a distinction then, but then he does have an order. See, we get order and respect the persons mixed in. No, God is a God of order, but he is no respect of person. He said to the Jew first and then to the, also to the Gentile. And then he said, for God is no respect of person. So this word is for all men. And all men have to have the same spirit on them. It's not one for Israel and one for another nation. And then we got our title out of this. For not the hearers of the law are justified before God, but the doers of the law are justified. And that's what you want to be justified, not just hear the word. You want to hear it and do it. So let's keep moving. How do we hear this word? How do we do that? James 1. Let's go to James 1 and pick it up at verse 19, brother. When you get there, read 19, James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and super, and super filthy and naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth the way. I'm sorry, he beholdeth himself, and go his way, and straightway forgot of what manner of man he was. But whoso yes, looketh Yes, sir. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a, a, a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. So we get a lot of information here in this, in this James 19. He said, wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. The Lord said, hear, O Israel. But everything is opposite of what the Lord wants us to do. We don't want to hear, we want to speak. You know, you want, you want to have big ears in this thing. Hear, O oh, ears, be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. We have to have the same spirit. We want to pray for increase of them fruits. And then we're talking about, we got to lay apart all this worldly, these carnal thoughts that we have, all, all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. We got to receive the word, which is, able to save your soul okay uh so let's keep moving let's get uh let's go to luke 8 let jesus tell us something about this luke 8 and we're gonna pick it up at verse 4 when you get it brother read 
And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. The sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. Skip down to verse 8, brother. And other, and other fell on good ground, and sprung up, and bare fruit in hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. So he said that uh, he saw in the sea, talking about the word of God, that word come to you. And he saw the sea uh, fell by the wayside and was trying down. Some fell on the rock and it lacks moisture. So that word was gone from him. And Lord, we're going to let the Lord uh, give you the uh, answer to this parable. But then he said, he that hath an ear, let him hear. See, we got a pair of ears, but our ears are meant to hear. And we got to open our ears to hear this word of God. He's standing at the door and he knock. And we have to open our mind to this word, to the word of God. Let's go down and skip and see what this parable means. Start at verse 11. Go ahead, brother. Now, now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and take up the way the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. Skip down to 15. But that one, the, but that one, but that on the good ground are they, which are, which in honest and good, which in an which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. See the other two, they didn't endure. They heard the word, and the book tell you told them, eat that word, John. Eat the book. It's gonna be like what in your mouth, but it's gonna honey in your mouth, but bitter in your belly. See, we can't handle the bitter part. When you hear that word, it's sweet to you, but we have to endure and do this word. Let's keep moving. Um, let's go to, uh, but I'm sorry, let's, let's finish that. But he said when on the good ground, they had an honest and good heart in their mind. They got a good mind. They got the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, long suffering, charity. They have those things and they get the word, they keep it and they bring forth fruit with patience. See, we got to have some patience. We want to tell somebody and they turn and serve the Lord because we told them right away. And we can't be that way. We just want to be telling the word and keep moving, okay? Let's see an example, 2 King 22. Pick it up at verse 10, brother. This is about Josiah. He wanted to be a repairer of the house of God and they found something in there. Let's pick it up at verse 10, read brother. And Shaphan the scribe showed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest have delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass when the king had heard the words of the book of the law that he rent his clothes. See, the Shaphan gave the king, uh, they read the book. And when the king read the book, he rent his clothes. Because, see, that book, they have been, they've been serving God, but they haven't been serving him correctly according to what is written. See, we have a lot to learn from these. These are for our examples now. We may be serving the Lord, but we want to make sure we serve him according to what is written in the book. Okay, let's skip down to verse 12 and let's see what the king did, what a righteous king said. Skip down to verse uh, 13, I'm sorry, brother, and read. Go ye, inquire of the Lord for me and for the people and for all Judah, concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book, to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. See, we read in Deuteronomy, they said, all that he say we will do. 
And we found out that our forefathers wasn't doing it and they didn't teach their children to do it either because they started doing it, but they didn't continue with it. Last phrase, let's go to Matthew 22, Matthew 10 and 22. How long do we supposed to do this? Read, brother, Matthew 10 and verse 22. Go ahead. And ye shall be, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth until the end shall be saved. See, you have to endure this thing because you serve the Lord. Those in the world are not going to love you. You're going to have to go through some minor afflictions, as the Lord called them. But if you endure this for the Lord, for his name's sake, that's what you got to do. You got to do this thing until the end, till the Lord come or till you go back into that dirt. And stick to the script. Be ye hearers and doers of the word. And I send it back to the panel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brother. Thank you for them, uh, for your contribution. And uh, I just like uh, the fact that when you went back to the Old Testament and, and read Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, we have to do what we hear in the Lord's law and his statutes to the degree that it is important to serve him with all our mind, with all our might, with all our soul, being a doer by operation, as well as serve God with all our mind by hearing the word of God and receive the divine information by ear, consuming in our mind to hear and do his commandments. So I turn it back over to, to the panel and thank you for your contribution, my brother. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. And just to add to that, brother, you know, we're talking about, you know, um, being hearers of the word. And when you hear the word uh, of the Lord, uh, and he says in John 10 and 27 that my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. This is what you're supposed to do when you hear the word of the Lord, when it take it to heart. And in uh, Proverbs 21 and 21, it says, he that follow after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. This is what hearing this, the word of the Most High God um, does for us. Uh, he edifies us through his word. So uh, I wanna thank you very much for uh, you bringing those uh, scriptures to our our attention, brother, and uh, I'd like to turn it back over to the panel so we can just carry on. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. So we pray that the people be edified concerning this subject and topic. Let's go to James 1 and pick it up at verse 16 and look at uh, what the Lord put on my heart. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begot he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. That's right. So God doesn't change, neither is there any shadow of turning in him. And he commands us to be just like him, the same way not just hearing the word, but being a doer as well, which we have heard of him so that we operate like him. And let's go to first Peter, the first chapter and pick it up at verse 16. And, and he gonna explain that to us. First Peter because 1 and 16, excuse I'm me. Sorry, brother. Because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. Mm -hmm. We have to develop the characteristics of God by information and operation, being hearers and doers of God's commandments. Let's go uh, to Deuteronomy, the 15th chapter. If we be willing and obedient, you shall enjoy the fruits of, of, of your labor and the good of the land, so the Lord say unto us. Deuteronomy 15, and pick it up at verse 5, my brother. When you get it, go ahead and read. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all these commandments which I command thee this day. For the Lord thy God bless thee as he promised thee 
and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they should not reign over thee. That's why James tell us to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he going to lift you up. Let's go to Philippians, the second chapter, and read one verse, verse 13, my brother. When you get it, go ahead and read. For it is God which worketh in you both to do will and to do his good pleasures. That's right. God gives us the will to do his good pleasure. Let's continue. Let's go uh, to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, and read verse 58. Because we're going to see how we do this by being his and doing doers of the word. Excuse me. Go ahead and read. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the lord that's right so the lord can purify you and use you and let's see that how you're gonna do that in ezekiel the 16th i mean the 36th chapter excuse me and we're gonna pick it up at verse 27 27 ezekiel 36 and pick it up at verse 27 brother when you get there go ahead and read and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. That's right. Skip up to verse 25 and read that. Let's see how he's going to do this. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new That's heart right. also will I give you. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and will give you an heart of flesh. That's correct. Let's continue. Let's go to uh to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Because this is the covenant that the Lord has made with us. To put the law in our hearts and in our minds so that we may do it. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, and let's let's read how the Lord wants us to operate in this law. Deuteronomy 4, and pick it up at verse 1. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read that. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. That's correct. Skip down to verse 6. Go ahead and read. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For That's what right. nation is there? So My fault, brother. Go ahead. For skip what nation is there? So verse 11. I apologize for that. You folks to skip to verse 11. That was verse 7. Okay, verse 11. Uh, and ye came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire into the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And the Lord spake unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude, only ye heard a voice. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. That's right. The Lord spoke the word and he spoke it to Moses in the sight of the people so they could believe Moses forever. And the people would stay there. All that the Lord have said, we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. Let's go to uh, James, the fourth chapter, my brother. James, the fourth chapter. And show you, if you hear this thing, you got to do this thing or else. It's going to be sin unto you. James 4, and read one verse, that's verse 17. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read that. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. That's right. Let's go to Romans, the uh, second chapter, and pick it up at verse 11. Let's let this book talk for itself. For there is no respect of person with God. That's right. Skip down to verse uh, 13 and read that. For not the hearers of the law are just are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. 
That's correct. So you know to do good, but you don't do it. You're not being a hearer and a doer of the Lord's word or his commandments. Let's go to Romans 10 and 10 and pick it up. Pick it up at verse 10, my brother. Romans 10 and pick it up at verse 10. When you get it, go ahead and read. For with the heart, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions is made unto salvation. For the mm -hmm. scripture saith, Who whosoever believeth believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Exactly. Skip down to verse 14 and let the book talk. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? That's right. Skip down the verse, skip up to verse 13 and read that. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I agree. Now read verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's right. Now let's go to uh, uh, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. And Ezekiel, gonna, uh, he going to elaborate on people that hear this thing, but they don't want to do it. Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. Let's let this book talk. It'll speak for itself. Go ahead and read, brother. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what it is, what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord? And they come it, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as the people. And they hear thy words, and they will not do them. I'm sorry, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but with their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice, and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. In his reading, brother. All right, continue to uh, not through the 15th chapter. I apologize for that. We're gonna let Jesus speak about these people as well. He's gonna remind us of what uh, Ezekiel was talking about in Matthew 15 and 8. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart are but their heart is far from me. That's right. That's right. Let's go to uh, Matthew, the seventh chapter, and show you what these people going to say to the Lord when they stand before him. Matthew 7 and verse 21. Get it and read it. Let the book talk. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. That's right. So you got to be a hearer and a doer of the word, because just because you're saying, Lord, Lord, Professing mouth service. That's why Jesus said these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You got to do the will of his father as well as hear the will of his father. Skip down to verse 24 and let's show you what Jesus going to express to us if we are here and the doer of the word. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Exactly. And that rock is Christ. Let's go to uh, the second uh, Corinthians, the 13th chapter. We're going to read one verse. This is the last scripture. And that's verse five. Second Corinthians, the 13th chapter and verse five. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. Examine yourselves. Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye, know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. That's correct. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, 
he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and go of his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So be ye his endures of the word, my brothers and my sisters. I turn it back over to the panel. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, it really, uh, you know, just blesses me, man, with uh, all the scriptures. And and I, it led me to um, this because of the subject, be ye not only hearers, but doers and, and the word. And, and the Lord even uh, uh, explains this to us in John 7, um, 16 and 17. Uh, in 16, it says, and, and Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but his that, that sent me. If any man do his will, not, not what he heard and he's just going to speculate on it or pontificate on it, you know, if you do his will, uh, he shall know the doctrine you'll be able to understand and uh, whether it be God or whether it be uh, I, my, I speak myself. This is what the Lord says. But you have to do the will of uh, of the Lord and, uh, and and follow his instructions through his word. And so it's more than just hearing it. We have to take action on his word. And I, and I thank you for uh, allowing me to interject that because I just wanted to make sure that that, that was a clear and, and, and uh, uh, a clear message, you know, that we should uh, all grasp onto. We can go back to the panel. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I like with you, uh, that you put together right there. Some good scriptures, brother. And I love this stick to the script. It just lets us know that, man, we got three brothers teaching over the same subject. And it's so much information in this Bible about it that we don't even have to jump over the same scriptures. So, uh, one thing that you said, that the Lord will give us the will to do his good pleasure. See, so many times man is trying to please man instead of trying to please the Lord. So if you hear his word, you'll be a doer of his word and not be worried about what man think of you. Because you're going to go through some things if you're serving the Lord in this, in this world. Uh, then you said, be steadfast, unmovable. That means you're going to get this word and ain't nothing going to take your crown. And the work that you do will not be in vain. That's what we got to know. The work that we do will not be in vain. There's a great reward for that. Uh, and one thing that really caught my mind, caught my attention, and it to keep everyone's attention, he said to know and not do is sin. And the ways of sin is death. So you, if you know this word and you don't do it and do it until the end, the ways of sin is death. So great scriptures, brother, and I'll turn it back over to the panel. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. And uh, I, I want to contribute, of course, um, to uh, this subject, being hearers and doers of the word. Uh, I have a few scriptures, so I'm going to see if we can get them all in. Uh, in Mark 4, 23, uh, it it says, uh, if any man has have an ear to hear, let him hear. And the scriptures proclaim, and God said. Now, this phrase has, uh, is in the Bible over 46 times. It's like, and God said to Noah, to Noah and God said to Abraham and Moses, uh, Joshua, David, Paul, John, etc., etc., etc. But now, did they really hear what thus said the Lord? Did they listen? Yes, they did. They heard every instruction that the Lord had uh, uh, given them, and they followed what he had said and directed unto them. Uh, but everyone does not really get it. You know, in fact, uh, uh, the word of God is really just that, the word of God, the word of our creator, the word of the almighty, the redeemer, the Lord and, and, and our savior. And he tells us in John 66 and 63, about his word. Would you read that for me, my brother? It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing.
the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And the words he speaks are spirit and life. Now, I take that, what he's saying literally. Um, like, you know, there's an old commercial that says, you know, do you hear the words that's coming out of my mouth? For scripture, I say, do you hear the words that's coming out of the book? Because his words should be jumping off the page to you for those that hear. Because they are spirit and they give life. Isn't that what the Lord said? So, also he spoke to Moses in Deuteronomy 6. He says, hear, O Israel, or really listen, O Israel. Would you read Deuteronomy 6, brother, 3, verses 3 through 6 for me, please. Yes, sir. Hear, therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers have promised thee, and the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Amen, amen, amen. Um, you read that uh, verse six, please. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Now he says, hear, therefore, O Israel. That means to listen and say to observe, to do it. What is it? It's, it's his commandments that you heard that he's given us. Uh, he says, hear, O Israel, and, and, and uh, again in verse 4. And it says uh, down in 6, um, the words that I command you this day, to put in thine heart. That means to apply it to your mind, that which you have heard. For the Lord has put forth his commandments, and he wanted Israel to hear what he was saying, but not only just to hear his words, but to listen to what he was saying. Hear uh, we hear things all the time. It goes around us. It goes on around us all the time. But when you want to hear something specific, then you listen for that particular thing. There are a lot of people that go to Sunday churches, and probably some that go to Sabbath churches uh, as well, that hear uh, what's being said and not hear at uh, anything at all because they're not really listening. For example, as Paul said in First Corinthians. 13 and 1. Would you read that for me, brother? Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Meaning without the charity that he possesses in his heart, no one would probably even hear him. No one would be listening to him regardless of what he was saying. But when we listen and not hear only, the Lord tells us in Psalms 32 and 8 what he'll do for us. Would you read that for me, brother? I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go and guide thee with mine eye. He said in, in uh, uh, John 6 and 63, that, uh, his words are spirit. And he tells us how his Holy Spirit actually um, is one of his ministers. Therefore, he tells us in John 6 and 13, how be it when he, the Spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit has come, he will guide you. Isn't that what he said in, 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 uh, in Psalms 32? He will guide us through this Holy Spirit. Say so he will guide you um, in all truth. And, he, and so he will guide us through his word through his spirit, and he makes it clear also, uh, well, look, just go ahead and read the, uh, the whole verse from me, brother, John 16 and 13. Yes, sir. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, for whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you he things said, to come. Yes, now he says he's going to, uh, the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Ghost is going to, going to guide you, as he said, up and still in, in spec, referring back to Psalms, uh, to all truth. But he says, he will not speak of himself, but whatsoever 
he shall hear. We see here that he's listening carefully as well to whatever the Lord um, is saying. Um, now, one of the most powerful things that the Lord has said that we should really take to heart, place in our minds, hear, even more so listen to, is John 14 and 15. Would you read that, my brother? If you love me, keep my commandments. Now, once we hear, listen, and understand what he's saying, if you love me, keep my commandments, then what are we to do with that? What happens is we establish a testimony, the testimony of his word. Um, let's read what the prophet Isaiah wrote in 43 and 10. Would you read that for me, brother? Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall, neither shall there, there be after me. Amen. So he said we are his witnesses, um, chosen, you know, that we uh, believe and understand who he is. Therefore, we become willing vessels chosen witnesses unto the Lord himself in this world when we hear or listen to do his commandments. And again, in John 6 and 63, he says that his words are spirit and his spirit makes alive. It quickens, the word quickens. So we, he informs us uh, also in Matthew 16 and 27, um, here, be, uh, by hearing and doing, uh, what he says will follow. Uh, brother, would you please read Matthew 16, verse 27 for me? Yes, sir. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. He says he will reward every man according to his works. So it comes down mm -hmm. to what are we going to do with this anointed knowledge that he has imparted on us? Jesus instructs us in Mark 16 and 15. Really, uh, would you read that for me? Uh, just read verse 15 for me, brother, right now. Mark 16 and 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now, and that's because, now read 16. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. He that believe, those who hear him, shall be saved. He that believeth not, those who have closed ears shall be damned. So what do uh, we, uh, what do we receive for hearing, listening, and doing thus what thus saith the Lord. Um, and you know, Peter even asked that question in Matthew 19 and 27. Uh, he says, we have forsaken all, follow thee, and what, what shall we receive therefore for following the Lord? This is what Peter had asked him. And basically we uh, end up with a good report with understanding and knowledge for all that he has set before us. Now, let's go down to um, well, let's go down to Revelations uh, 20 and 15. Let's jump there. Would you read that for me, brother? Yes, sir. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, who said, whosoever is not written in the, in the book of life. Um, if we don't not, if we do not only, uh, we hear what he's saying, but we don't do what and act on what his words has said to us, then there is but one destination. And that's the book of, uh, I mean, the lake of fire. Those who refuse to hear 
or do what he said. Let's finish up with Jeremiah 17 and 10. Brother, would you read that? Yes, sir. And the Lord searched the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Amen. The Lord said he searched the heart of every man and according to the fruit of his doing. Lastly, let's hear um, or like listen to as well what thus said the Lord in Revelations 22 and 12. Would you read that for me, brother? Yes, sir. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Now, according to what we do with the words that we have heard, i.e. listening to and taking to heart, and whether or not our names is in that book of life, is determined on you being not only doers, uh, not only hearers of the word, but also doers of the word. And this uh, is why we must stick to the script. In Jesus' name, if we're looking for any reward from the Lord that will come um, and bring that with him when he does come. And I thank you for uh, allowing me to uh, contribute. My brothers, we can go back to the panel. And um, thank, thanks again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother uh, Jedediah, for the information you put forth by the word of truth. We praise the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, the true and living God. Uh, what caught my attention was you, you made it plain uh, hear, hear, hear. But don't just hear, listen, listen, listen. Don't just listen do as well amen our works is dead and jesus let us know plainly in matthew the 19th chapter if you will enter into life keep the commandments so you have to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy you have to keep your hand off your neighbor's wife you have to stop stealing you can't have no other god before the true and living god you can't covet anything that's not yours or that's your neighbor's you got to hear this thing and, and walk the walk as well as you talk to talk. Because that's what Jesus did. He walked the walk. Right. He kept the right. right. commandments. And we see the overall uh, end results that he became a divine spiritual being as he was in his God stead before he came in the flesh. And that's the same reward we will receive. That's why the scriptures let us know in the New Testament, that we will be joint heirs with Christ if we walk as he walked. And whoso say they abide in him ought to walk even also as he walked. So I thank you for the beautiful information that you put forth by the true and living God's word and his Holy Spirit. I hope everybody was edified. Amen. Back Amen. To Back to the panel. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good words, brother. Uh, one thing that really caught my attention on this is that when you read in Psalms, what the Lord said, he will instruct thee, teach thee, and guide thee. So the Lord Amen. really wants you to open your mind because he has something to put in there. We're all born in sin. So the Lord got to put something in us to change us. He said, those that lose their life shall save it. Uh, so he, want, he said he will instruct thee teach you and guide you that's what this word will Amen. do for you if yes, sir. you open your mind to it and the lord give us great examples he gave us the spirit of truth like you said you read in, in jane john he said yes. all that he hear he will say he gonna speak he gonna speak his own words see that's our example the holy angels they hear what thus said the lord and they don't even speak their word. They say, I am the Lord, your God. They're going to say exactly what the Lord said. Amen. And then Amen. he gave us the greatest example. Jesus. Not to do my will, Father, but thy will. 
You have to hear yeah, this amen. word get obedient and get off of you right now. And amen. if you do that, you lose your life. The Lord got a plan for you, eternal plan for you that you can't even imagine. So great, yes, great, great scriptures, brother. I hope those that hear it are edified. Uh, peace in Jesus' name. Amen. So I hope we was edified tonight. Praise the Lord for this truth, for this word. Uh, that concludes today's session entitled Be Ye Hears of the Word and Doers of the Word. Uh, like it, share, and join us next week for another edition of Stick to the Script. Until then, Peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace. Amen. Amen. Peace. From leaning not on our own understanding to casting down wicked imaginations, we're here to study to show ourselves approved here a little and there a little. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Stick to the Script. Let's read the Bible now.